Hi, this video is a step-by-step -step detailed guide showing how to disassemble and upgrade the Lenovo Legion Y540. I will show you how to safely swap out the RAM, SSD and hard drive, so if you worry about breaking something, this guide is for you. You can also follow the steps if you have the following models of Lenovo Legion, because they use practically the same chassis. In the video description you can find recommended storage drive and RAM compatible with Lenovo Legion Y540 and other models that I mentioned before. If you want to skip to any part of this video, you can use the timestamps in the comment section. I'm Chris and now let's get to work. To get access to the components we need to remove hold the bottom lid, so get a small screwdriver and remove 11 screws holding it in place. After unscrewing the screws get some thin piece of plastic and slide around the body of the laptop to separate the bottom lid from the chassis. There are little tabs holding it in place. Do the same on the back, but you have to flip the laptop over because the tabs are located on the other side. Alright, you can take off the lid now and inside you can find your 2.5 inch drive bay, one slot for M.2 SSD and two RAM slot covered by metal plate. If you have Y740 or different model, your M.2 SSD might be located somewhere around here. It's good to disconnect the battery before you start changing components, but I usually don't do that so let's get to the hard drive first. First unscrew it all from the frame. There are four screws to remove. To take out the old drive with frame you have to disconnect the ribbon cable from motherboard. Now you can take out the drive and remove the SATA connector. Alright, so here is my stock drive and you have to unscrew this metal frame for our new drive. To my surprise, my unit was missing one screw, but that's not a big deal. And here is my new drive. I'm using Seagate FireQ the hybrid drive that costs a little bit more than regular HDD, but in proper conditions it can work with nearly the same speeds as SSD. You can check it out in the link below the video. Alright, so place the metal frame on your drive the same way I show in the video and screw the screws in. Now connect the cable and place the drive inside the drive bay. Now screw the screws in. Connect the cable to the motherboard and it's done. Alright, let's swap out the RAM now. First you have to remove the metal plate. On each side you have four little clips that hold it in place. Take some thin piece of plastic and pry it up on each side. Once you feel like it's gonna come off, just grab the plate and pull it up. Installing the RAM is a very simple process. Just take one RAM stick and slide it into the slot at an angle. Then press it down until you hear a click. If you want to take it out, on the sides you have two little tabs. If you push them both, RAM will pop out. If you don't know which RAM you should buy, you can find the list with compatible RAM in the description. Alright, if you installed the RAM, take the metal plate and fit it into the clips on each side. And then push it down and it's done. We have also one slot for M.2 SSD. If you want to swap it out, there is only one screw to remove. Now you can take out the drive. 
to install the new one just slide it into the slot at an angle press it down screw the screw in and it's done Now if you disconnected the battery don't forget to connect it back. If you're done place the lid on the laptop and push it down around the edges to make sure that every tab clicked. Now screw the screws in and it's done. Alright that's all for today and I hope that your upgrade was successful. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.